Hello. I'm going to show you what you can do with potatoes and tomatoes in spring. Well, not just only potatoes and tomatoes. But in this plot, there will be potatoes and tomatoes. It's a very simple method. You will just have to alternate between uh, potatoes and tomatoes. After every harvest, you just have to switch them around. This plot will contain two rows of tomatoes and one row of dragon fruit. Now in this plot, it will be the same as uh, potatoes and tomatoes. But why this one is better is because it uses the hexagon planting mode. I'm using the mod Snapping Tills. It allows me to plant it in the hexagonal shape. This one is a 4x4. Why this isn't as good is because it will be too crowded for them to be happy and uh, you won't get you won't get any happy plants. Thanks to the viewer Red Peter for reminding me about the hexagonal and snapping tails. Don't forget to water your plants. You don't have to water them in spring when it rains, but water them when it doesn't. And talk to your plants. In this plot I will be planting carrots and watermelons. Now it'll be the same as the potatoes and tomatoes. So, same method, uh, you'll have to alternate between them. This one will be two rows of watermelons and one row of pomegranate. It's very similar to the potatoes and tomatoes and potatoes and dragon fruit. This one will be two rows of watermelons and one row of onions. And uh, this is using the hexagonal planting. It'll be using carrots and watermelon. So you don't have to alternate. And I'm planting this again just to show how overcrowded will actually not get you giant plants. water and talk to your plants whenever they grow up. I'm playing Wormwood and he blooms in spring. So whenever he blooms he automatically talks to the plants. And there you go. Giant plants. Now, in a bit, you will see that the final dragon fruit will actually be giant. Uh, don't worry about that. Yours will be giant. Mine happened to be a little bit special. Why it isn't giant is because all of the other dragon fruits grew up and it was the only dragon fruit there, so it did not meet the family requirement to be giant. And as you can see in the top right, the potatoes and tomatoes are not giant because they're overcrowded. Just remember to talk to your plants and water them if they require. Now this one doesn't have a the situation that we had with the dragon fruit up there. So, everything should be fine if you use my methods.
In this plot, we will be planting carrots, asparagus, and eggplants. In this plot, we'll be planting carrots, asparagus, and potatoes. You will be seeing a lot of carrots in all of these methods. This one is carrots, corn, and potato. In this plot, it will be carrots, corn, and eggplants. Just remember to talk to your plants every now and then whenever they grow up to their next stage. And remember to water them. In this plot, we'll be using onions, durian, and dragon fruit. We'll be planting pomegranate, durian, and dragon fruit in this plot. In this plot, we will be planting pomegranate, durian, and dragon fruit. For this one, we'll be planting onion, garlic, and dragon fruit. 